All right, guys, so we just got this box and it's a portable charging station. And it came with uh, solar panels, so let's uh, take this out and see what it is. We start with this. This is the charger, it looks like it. Yep. 3 max and it's uh, 24 volts. It's out. And it's pretty powerful output. So you have different settings here. All right, so that's off. Okay, so now it's off. And to yeah. give you a sense of how the size of this, it's about a foot, right? Almost yeah. like 11 inches, yeah. Almost like 11 inches, and then here, about... Eight inches, yeah. Eight inches. Eight and a half, maybe nine inches, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty compact. Uh, Quality-wise, Looks okay, it's not like the EcoFlow Delta, but looks very good. And uh, it contains lithium phosphate batteries and it's 992 watt hour capacity. Oh, there you go. So you press this button, it comes on. So I plug this into the wall and let's see how fast does it charge. Input. All right, so let's see if it shows the time. And I think it will. This is very silent, actually. It's very quiet. 180 watt hour input, and it's gonna be done in three hours. Uh, that's half of the battery, so it'll be almost six hours. Yeah. Uh, I think it would be better to have a faster charging speed. 20, let's say, 24 pounds. Yeah. Three regular 110 volt uh, plugs, and each one is 10 amps. 1100 watts. You have the charging port, which we just saw. You have the car charger, the car socket, 60 watt Type C charging, 18 watt to USB ports. You also have this adapter for car charging, so goes inside and you can charge from the car and uh, all the rest of the ports can be used anywhere you travel so this unit will be good for camping or any outside uh, activities uh, also let's say if it's a blackout you can power a computer a blender a microwave anything uh, up to 1100 watts and all these three outlets will give you a combined 10 amps so we got this uh, Teapot here, right? Yeah, exactly. Electric this. teapot. And, and this is it at exactly 1100 watts. All right, guys, so we'll uh, test. Uh, so we have right now here the temperature uh, water at 72 degrees. Have 30%. This is going to take about five minutes. So this is pulling two and a half amps, which technically is gonna get really close to its limit. And as you can see, exactly. So it got really close to its limit, but it's still, now it's pulling, it's pulling yeah. 10 amps and handling both, basically charging. Charging. I think this is 27%, so a higher percentage will probably do better. We can probably put a couple of more things. Oh yeah, this is definitely, you know, if you're camping, you're traveling somewhere, you just grab it, put it in your car, and you have uh, one kilowatt of energy. And if you're on your e-bike, and you don't know whether you can charge your, uh, your bicycle, you could just strap this on the back of your e-bike, and then charge anywhere you want. Yeah. In fact, you can technically, you could charge four of these batteries uh, at one time. Because each one is two and a half amps, Pulling at 110 well, volts. This capacity has almost 600 watts, so you probably mm -hmm. charge one and maybe a little bit left, so maybe two batteries you can charge maybe halfway or close to that. Um, 
but you lose like it's 992 watts capacity, what our capacity, so you lose when you convert, you lose a little bit, maybe like 10%, 15%. But still, you can do it. Use a head dryer, use a computer, or like making coffee, that's what, you know, is gonna make a difference. You're not gonna need this for charging batteries. You can still do that, but that's not really the main purpose. Okay guys, so we put the unit and we connect a bunch of stuff here. So it shows seven to eight hours, 86, uh, 200 plus fluctuation in uh, output of watts and watts output. And we have connected here the GoPro, charging phone, the Surface is updating, a laptop and uh, a screen, an Apple desktop, right? With the Mac uh, with the printer and then the lights. So pretty much what we have in an office. And this is the runtime that you get about seven plus hours, uh, which is uh, not bad. So let's say if you have a power outage, which happens a lot in New Jersey, uh, this can be a very good solution uh, to power your your, your desk uh, or your mini office. Um, and also you can run various uh, appliances like a TV, maybe microwave, anything that's uh, around rated wattage for, for this unit. Guys, okay, so we're gonna open the panels and see how they look like and what's inside. So I think this is to connect them in parallel, both, uh, both panels. Oh, there you go, perfect. Nice packing, very, very tight. Look at that. Beautiful, with a carrying case. I did not expect that. That is nice. Nice. Look at that. That's pretty big. That is very big. Can you move the... Peak output 100 watts and voltage 19.8. 100 watt DC output, perfect. Nice. So we have 200 watts here, two panels. Nice. That's pretty good. And this will uh, prop in the back. I think each one of them has a yes. foot in the back. Pocket here. Looks like the cable, the cable from the panel. Cable connects it. And this oh. is long enough, yeah. Oh, this is this is very interesting. So they provided you with a two to one Y Y connector, which we so just can, pulled out right here. This is the one right here. So you get them in the parallel. So yeah, basically, and you get to hundred watts. Yeah, you can charge with both panels. And then here, I want to give you a sense of how long this is. It's, it's exactly five feet. 17 inches. All right, guys, so we have the panels lined up. Each panel is 100 watts. Wow. hundred sixty watts almost one fifty eight one fifty seven come on I think we can see higher numbers but that's pretty good hundred fifty nine fifty eight and uh, fully charged from ten percent in seven hours let me show you guys the panels we have a direct sun onto them it's uh, one o'clock, cell efficiency 20%. And each one power voltage 19.8 volts. Hope we can see in the sun, 18 volts, 100 watts. And these panels are very compact, very light, foldable. And right now we're still kicking 156 watts. Hope we can see here in the sun. This is pretty good numbers. And compared to Delta EcoFlow lineup of the solar panels I tried, this is actually doing so much better. In my case, I'm using this unit to charge my e-bike batteries for remote locations and longer rides. Also, it is an option for powering small devices or for emergencies in case of a blackout that can happen pretty often in New York State area.